Good morning everyone, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Big day for me, I'm doing my meet and greet today, Thursday, January 19th at 12.30, so I'm heading to the Florida State Fairgrounds for that and the Florida RV Super Show, gonna be sharing it with you, gonna be meeting a lot of my viewers, so if you're planning on being there, here we go. Thanks for joining me guys. What's going on everybody? Florida! Yeah! Palm trees! The bay out here. Glorious day. Today is Thursday the 19th. Today is the day of my uh, meetup with my viewers at the Florida State Fairgrounds Florida RV Super Show. So I'm heading over there for the day and then we're going to look around as well. It's a really nice day. Really looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing so many of my viewers. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. Let's get this day started. All right, and here we are. We're actually at the back entrance of the fairgrounds. This is the vendor and media entrance, and it's a specific uh, parking lot and area here. So we'll get checked in here. I have to have my white parking pass. All right, all checked in, got tater tot uh, parked here. We're pretty close to the entrance, so I'm gonna pack up, bring all my gear. Uh, not gonna carry the satellite dish. I'm just gonna have whoever wins that come out to the car here. Uh, but yeah, I wanna go do the meet and greet, and then once we wrap that all up, then we can go enjoy part of the actual RV show itself. And this this will go all weekend long. We're here on a Thursday. This goes through Sunday. So I got my media pass, which I will show you. Uh, Nomadic Fanatic Media, so uh, I can film and uh, they give you a free pass for the whole week uh, admission in here, so. All right, let's go do this. Meetups are, uh, there's some unknown in there. You never know what's gonna happen. I don't know if nobody's gonna show up or a hundred people are gonna show up. I just, uh, we'll see. Even though when they're not doing the fair as normal, they do have some uh, food trucks out here, so I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. All right, lunch of champions, chicken tenders and uh, french fries. Temperature here today in Tampa is gonna be 84 degrees. I think Florida's better than Arizona. I'm digging it. All right, guys, we're here with Jen and Kyle here at the RV Super Show at the meet and greet. And, uh, <laughs> So what we're gonna do, guys, is uh, we're gonna form two lines, and we're gonna we're gonna try to get people going in each line. We're gonna try to keep it short, like 30 seconds. Picture, enter a drawing here. You can win a from me. You can win the Nomad Internet and a year of service. Also, a Dish Network outdoor satellite dish is out in my car. If you win that, just put your name on one of these tickets and put it in the bowl here, and then we can get a selfie. And then if we need to chat, if we go past, I'm gonna be outside later. Also. So we'll form a line and get going. And then, yeah, an hour of uh, frantic meeting everyone. It was so cool, guys. I mean, I've I got viewers coming up showing me pictures of their pets and their kitties and telling me how they started their journey following me on YouTube. This was a wonderful experience. I'm not gonna share all the audio from all these private conversations, but it was so incredibly neat to meet all of, my, all of these viewers. I mean, it was just, it was awesome. Just had the time of my life here. That was so much fun. Then we did drawings for the Nomad Air and Year of Service and the Dish Network Bundle. I need Nicole Marille. Marcel. 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 Well, 0696. 2966. Yeah. Wow. Deal. <laughs> How about a Jacob Smith? Three. He's with my kid, is that okay? Jacob Smith, come on. Yay. Wow. Just wrapped up the meet and greet and uh, came back to Tater Tot to drop off everything. I mean, we're still gonna go back and, fi and film some stuff and look at some rigs and look at the show because this is my first time ever being at the show, but I am just, I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. It is so neat to finally, for the first time in 11 years, finally be able to physically see and meet and hug 
and laugh and share memories with my viewers, people that, that are my friends on YouTube. Um, I, I know I have a lot of people who have told me that they wish they could have been here, but they were just not able to do it this year. Um, I'm, I, I'm, I miss you guys. Maybe we'll make it happen sometime, but um, the pouring of, of love here that we got, that I got today and the Bethunes, it was just, it meant, it meant so much to me guys. So if you were a part of that, thank you for going out of your way and braving the non air conditioning uh, room that we were in there <laughs> uh, and waiting the long lines. Um, I, I, I'm just speechless. I'm really just, I've been vlogging since this morning, but also working on this and it's been a lot to take in. So I'm just like, I, I, thank you. That's all I can, that's all I can say. Thank you. This was a positive experience and uh, we will do it again in another part of the country. We will definitely do this again. Thanks guys. Let's go check out the RV Super Show. All right, even though it's quite warm, one of the benefits of coming to Florida instead of Quartzsite, Arizona is as you'll notice, there's no dust. It's not just a big dust cloud, wind nonstop. It's it's very clean. There's lots of concrete and pavement, and uh, it's a lot it's a lot cleaner. I want to look at these vans. Camper vans. These are all uh, Coachman camper vans. The newest model of what Vanna White would have been. This is the Li3 Nova van, and uh, let's take a peek in here. Guessing this is a big fridge freezer here. Actually, that's pretty good. Let's take out your microwave. Wow, a lot more roomy than I was expecting. Stove, <laughs> look at this little table for, for working or for food and sit there and watch some TV. Even got an air conditioner. Wow, $184,000, much more expensive than the big RVs. They're packing a lot more into a smaller space. You can park this in almost any normal parking spot. So I get it. Whew. Also, you know, it feels like the smaller RVs are definitely much more popular these days. You know, much more. A lot, a lot more people want. Look at this Mercedes. That's a four wheel drive Tranquility Mercedes camper van. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would take you places. Let's peek inside this one. This is the 19L 4x4. That's a lavatory for a bathroom. Yep, and a wet, wet bath in there. Fridge. Look at the garage space underneath. You could put a little scooter or something in there. Yeah. However, I can't even fit down the hallway side, uh, this way, I'd have to fit sideways. Um, I feel a little more claustrophobic in this one. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we gotta show some Class C RVs, and I mean, this Seneca XT, guys, this is re. Look at the the Ford F600 XLT chassis. Look at that. That's for going places, guys. That's not for RV parks. Half a million dollars. Uh huh. And then a Jayco Super C on the Freightliner chassis, like a like a school bus or a semi. Wow. I would rather be in a diesel Class C RV, but um, unless Jayco's watching this and wants to put me in one, and I'll travel around the country in it. I like it. <laughs> so this stand here creates these little custom signs that you put outside your RV at the at the campgrounds, made of wood and they're all uh, hand done. In fact, uh, she's making one right now for a customer. Make it look just like your RV and whatever text. It's really cool. All right, guys, we are going to look at one bumper pool trailer here, the Rove Sur. And there's a reason why I want to look at this one. It's a 24 foot, so same size as my Frida Class C. But look, not only do you have an outdoor deck, but yeah, it's, it could be a toy hauler too. So this ramp goes all the way down to the ground. You drive your motorcycle up in and store your motorcycle inside the RV. We got the uh, bed right inside in the front there. Lots and lots of room. Look how open this is. It's simple. There's your kitchen, there's your bathroom, your fridge, and then this is where your motorcycle would be attached. And you can do whatever you want with this room when the motorcycle's out. There's also a bed and, and couch up here that raises and lowers. And then the deck. You know, if I had a pickup truck that I loved, this could be an option for hauling my motorcycle inside. 
And then I would have a truck to scoot around instead of tater tot, you know? A lot of options out there. Well, they finally got the uh, air conditioning working in here in the meet and greet building, so we're gonna go check out uh, Jason and Ray real quick. Hey, we're here at three o'clock, and now we got Jason and Ray from... The Getaway, Getaway Couple. Couple. Yep, they're on YouTube. What are you guys working on right now? Uh, so, well, just bought a house, just finished renovating our truck camper, yes. and we're looking to get out west here from Florida and take it out in the mountains where it belongs. So you think winters in Florida, maybe summers elsewhere? Yeah, yes. definitely. Summers definitely are, summers elsewhere. Yeah, the humi <laughs> too humid. Out being here from Los Angeles, the humidity, <laughs> it kills us. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no more. Right on. Well, yeah. thanks for letting me meet you guys. I'll put their social links in the video description. You can check out their channel. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Yeah, this is the... Uh, Last building here, I just want to go in here and peek. <laughs> Look at the people waving at me. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, so inside, these vendors are actually a lot like the big tent in Quartzsite. You're going to see a lot of the same brands. I'm not going to walk all the way through here, but they got some toe dollies. $4,500. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here to look at to inspire you and everything. Now, this is day one. We still got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so... Um, I'm just, I'm really still feeling a little bit emotional. And, and I mean, I'm blessed, I'm happy, but I, I, I wanna get back to the kitties. So I'm gonna cut today off here at 4 p.m. and we're gonna finish this in another video, right? So we'll go see the kitties next. Opie Double Dope, please. Everybody asked about you too, man. They really wanted to see the dope dope. I know, I wanted to get you in there, man, but I didn't wanna get in trouble. No, I didn't wanna sneak kitties in. I mean, I did kinda wanna, but I didn't, you know. They were asking about you though. Yeah, next time I'll get you in there, you want to go? Are you are you practicing your kneading? You making b air biscuits? Yeah, Hims makes air biscuits, yeah. Tara Bear. Yeah, I had people asking about you too, girl. They were, they wanted to see you. A couple people had kitties that look exactly like you, or same exact fuzzy butt. They said, man, I wanna see Tara. Yeah, you're popular. Next time we'll have to sneak you in, okay? Sound good? All right, girl. She's such a good girl. Yeah. What a day. What a crazy day. I'm gonna go ahead and say, guys, this was probably, in 11 years of doing this on YouTube, today was the best day of my YouTube life. That's how, that's how happy I am. That's how much fun I had. This meant so much to me and I, I just can't get over it. I, I saw, I, anyway, I know I've said that over and over. Best day ever. Yep, thank you guys. I don't have an actual official final count, but I do know that I brought 500 of those new stickers. They're all gone. <laughs> I also brought 100 of the rare prototype ones. Those are gone. I left with zero stickers. So lest I say, I probably saw at least 600 of you today in Tampa, and you guys are awesome. I have more stickers on order coming next week, which I will be announcing how you can get those in another video here coming. But let me get to the weekend and try to pop a video out by Tuesday, Wednesday, max here in the Tampa area. I want to do a couple more things around here and uh, possibly some changes coming to the channel as well. You guys, you guys know that about me. I like change. I like mixing things up. Some, some possible changes coming. So, be patient, Opie, you little lickster, you little lickster. Uh, we will see you soon. You guys be well. Good night. Bye-bye.